Hello, welcome back. So the point of this tutorial is to just get you familiar with how to read mechanical print and how to make mechanical parts. So, and this is pretty easy. And these examples are from the technical drawing book that we used in school. So just to start to design this uh, roller stud, you just start a new part and um, I'm going to change my units to metric um, and one thing I always do is improve my image quality and click OK. So we are going to start from this part and we are just going to draw the basic features first and draw the rest in. So we'll start from the back up. So well, the plane we're going to use is the front plane. So let me move that somewhere over here so you see the front plane draw a sketch on it and I'll draw my first circle and the diameter for this is 57.15 and and 57.07 so it has a limit on um, dimension so what I always do is um, I would just add both together and divide it by 2 so you 57.15 plus 57.07 divided by 2 so it gives you something in the middle so that's what I'll do and you just extrude it and it is 21 so we extrude it 21 and click OK and again um, I'm going to move this and on that face sketch um, number two let me move it to the side and we'll draw the second one which is another circle and the circle is pretty much concentric with this um, with this first feature we drew so and that is also 44.45 and 44.37 and we'll do the same thing pick a number in the middle so 44.45 plus 44.37 and we'll close the parentheses divide by 2. So a good thing about SOLIDWORKS is you can enter equation in it just like you would do in the calculator and it will just give you the right number. And now we are going to extrude that, um, extrude it 25. So the 25 and click OK. And now we have those two features. Then the last one we're going to do is the this third bar over here. So on that face, sketch number two, and I'm going to move it to the side over here and draw my circle. So this circle is actually not concentric with this two circles that the first two circles we did. If you look down here, you can see that the circle is tangent to the bottom of this circle. So what we'll do is make this up um, the center point of the circle and the horizon origin point vertical to each other and make this circle and that second feature we drew make it tangent. So add a tangent relation to it. So I'm just going to go normal two again, normal two number two and I'll move it to the side so once you make it tangent again that has a diameter of 28.58 plus 28.52 divided by 2 so we have that and we're going to extrude it and we have 21, 21 plus 25 which gives us 46 and the overall is 102 so we can just do 102 minus 21 minus 25 or you can do 102 minus 40, 46 is the same so we click OK and it gives us 56 and we click enter so we have pretty much all our basic features all we just need to do is cut the part in so we'll start from the back again. So the back of this feature sketch and move I'll move it somewhere over here 
and I'm just going to draw a center rectangle something like that make sure the center rectangle is sticking out so I always like drawing something that sticks out or you can convert entity this edge is the same I will show you how to, I'll show you the what I mean in the next one we do so again the the length of that is 32 so we'll make this angle this dimension 32 and you can convert this entity move that there and trim everything but I just for this example we can just leave it sticking out so may let's make that dimension 62 and and we have that feature and what we can do is extrude cut and we are cutting it in and their dimension is six so we're just going to make that six and click OK and the next one we'll click on this face sketch and well, let me move it to the side again and again I'm going to draw a center rectangle on this and make sure that rectangle and this is vertical to each other and uh, you can make put that that center point of that rectangle on the origin point it would work better it's the same thing for this example so once you put it on that origin point the distance is 42 so normally what you would do is you would draw your rectangle here you draw another rectangle here and extrude cut but I'm going to show you this feature in SOLIDWORKS that allows you to just cut both sides with this rectangle. So the that dimension is 42, which is over here. And we can just leave it sticking out like that. So let's make it something like uh, 65. Yeah, so that is good. So 42, that is that 42. So what we will do is, and you can see it over here, and what we will do is just go to the feature extrude cut and you see it's cutting on the inside but what we can do is do flip side to cut so that way it cuts everything on the outside and we want to cut it 32 so we'll go 32 and click OK and as you can see it cut everything on the outside so the next thing we want to do is on this face sketch number two and draw a line just say horizontal line something like that and make that line horizontal and you can convert entity this fit this edge and trim it and the dimension is five from there to there is five so we'll click a point just to be able to dimension and put a point at that quadrant so that way you can dimension from here to here it's five and that is what it looks like so we're just going to feature extrude cut and the dimension is the distance is 24 so we click 24 click ok and we have one more to do and it is the circle so click on that top face sketch number two and just move it somewhere over here and draw a circle make sure the circle and the origin point is vertical to each other and the distance is 12 from this edge to this edge is 12 and the diameter for the circle is 8 so once your, once your sketch is fully defined, feature, extrude, cut, and this one we can do up to next and click OK. And if I go to the my view, my symmetric view, and there you go, there you have the part. And what you can do is just add a material to it, uh, appearance, metal. Um, let me steal and maybe I can minimize this for now still and I can just do 
brush still and click OK and there you go there you have the part thank you and if you have any question feel free please feel free to leave a comment and thank you I'll see you in the next one bye